Previously on Trails in the Reverie, the Imperial Defense Force took over Crossbelt and attempted to restart the war against Calvert out of pride. The SSS managed to foil their plan by destroying their biggest, baddest soldat, which was really painful and Abbott's difficulty. March 15. Ladies and gentlemen, our day in the sun has finally arrived. And I, Grace Lynn of the Crossbell Times, am here to make sure you don't miss a moment of this monumental occasion. At 2 p.m. today, the signing ceremony for Crossbell's independence will take place in this very spot. What you are about to witness is going to be historic not just for Crossbell, but for this whole continent. Let's get some live reactions from folks on the street. <clears throat> to tell you the truth, I never dreamed we would achieve independence again quite like this. It's been two years since we came under Arabonian control. Two years that dragged on, yet flew by at the same time. I struggle to describe just how moved I am when I acknowledge that we are about to finally achieve our long-cherished desire. Now, if everyone would join me. Three cheers for Crossbell! <laughs> Nervous is the short answer. We're all really busy trying to ensure everything goes ahead smoothly. It's incredible to think that everything we fought for is about to pay off. But I can't imagine we would have gotten this far if not for the efforts of the special support section. As a fellow police officer, I'm beyond proud of them for all they've done for us. You guys are Crossbell's heroes! Look! Speaker McDowell has arrived on the scene! Mr. Speaker, could you please tell us how you're feeling with the ceremony about to begin? I'd love to hear about the relationship between your beautiful secretary and the leader of the SSS while you're at it. Um, Race. Wait, does this depend on data from uh, Zero and Azure? Because, you know, I'm using someone else's data for that one. So that m m maybe they went for the Ellie route. <sighs> Not you again. The speaker is a busy man, you know. Now, now, I see no harm in giving her a little of my time. Crossbell can only take this momentous step forward thanks to the help of all who live here and our many neighbors. As both a government official and as a fellow citizen of this great state, I am deeply grateful to all who supported us. I hope that you will continue to watch over us as we walk toward our new future hand in hand. Lloyd through the Route Act 1 signing ceremony. The day is finally here, Guy. I know it took us a while. But peace in Crossbell is finally within reach. Though, this will probably be where the real hard work begins. Hard's got nothing on us! So long as we're together, everything's gonna be easy breezy. You guys already put in 100%, and I plan on doing the same. A hundred and ten is more like it, and you can always count on me for support. Watch over us, Guy, Lloyd, and all of Crossbell. All right. I think it's time we got going. You and Kia both have things on the to-do list today, don't you? That's right. I was thinking of checking in on Elia. It's only been a month since she finished rehab, and she's already got her engines running at full blast. <laughs> I'd be more worried if she wasn't doing that. 
But yeah, I'm meeting Shizuku at the guild. Oh yeah. She's back home after evacuating to Remiferia. Well, I'm on patrol before the signing ceremony begins, so I'll pop by to say hey when I'm close, okay? That works for me. I'll see you in a bit. Bye! We'll finally be independent. Whatever work I have to put in to keep it that way will be worth every second. I'm here. Now and always, as a detective and a proud member of the SSS. Aha! <laughs> there you are. Lloyd! Hey! So, Noel, Wazi, what brings you here? I'm handling security detail. Kia was just here, right? I bumped into her at the signing ceremony site, and she said where she'd be going. And I've only been dragged here because Archbishop Araldo will be present. This is all unusual, even by the church's standards. So they needed more bodies to make the arrangements less hectic. Ah, oh, come on. Don't act like you're just anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like it's been a whole lifetime since we've gotten a chance to talk, huh? But it's only been a month since the operation. We did meet up at the prince's wedding, but it got so busy after that that we haven't had a chance to really sit down. And all my running in and out of Artarias made me miss just being here. So, you know, it's nice to be home. Hasn't been the same without you, Wazi. Seriously, way to go, Noel. Security detail for this is no small task. Thanks. Couldn't manage it without you and the rest of the team, though. Does that about cover your plans until the ceremony starts then? My end of the work has all but wrapped up, so I was going just going to roam for a bit. Why is this suddenly unvoiced? Oh, I've got an idea. Since you're on patrol duty anyway, Lloyd, what if we made the most, the most of the meeting, uh, uh, meeting up like this and scoped out of the city together? That sounds great. Does this depend... Uh, or does, does this dialogue depend on the cl uh, clear save from Zero and Azure? As long as you know I'm on the job, we can't goof off for anything. Huh, I figured. It's going to be a nice little nostalgia bomb for me to do some SSS-related work. It'll serve as a nice change of pace for me, so why not? Alright, Len, let's hit the streets. My only plan stops are to see Kia and Cecil. But it would be nice if we could talk to Ellie, since I'm sure she's hard at work. Sure, now let's get moving. We can figure out where to go first along the way. Earn special items for loading Zero and Azure data. Okay, set costumes and such from the camp menu. Hmm. Alright, some bad news. Apparently there's a bug that they have not fixed yet, where... Newer characters do not get proper link abilities. That is... That seems like such a glaring flaw that I can't believe they really release a game like this. Yeah. You know, maybe in-universe, uh, the Zemurian equivalent of Elon Musk bought the Reinford Company and Epstein Foundation and bungled everything. Yeah. That's my explanation for it all. My husband passed away decades ago after being caught in the crossfires of war. Since then, I've made it a point to come here and pray every single day. But I never thought I'd one day be able to deliver such wonderful news to him. The home he loved is going to regain its independence of a signing ceremony. I can picture him in heaven with that big warm smile of his as we speak. Lambs born the bell rest in peace. May his son's golden race illuminate your trail to the goddess's side. Well, how have you been, Lloyd? Doing good. Been a while, Quint. You were friends with Guy, weren't you? We were drinking buddies. Now the only hang out we do is while I watch over the cemetery. But wow, Lloyd, you're looking more and more like your brother by the day. <laughs> well, it's one thing to be like him on the outside, but it's another thing to be like him on the inside. Nothing wrong with having big shoes to fill in. Besides, I think you're doing a damn fine job living up to his image. Say, you got his tolerance when it comes to drinking at all? Guy could really knock him back. Probably not. I'm more of a social drinker. I can have a few now and then, though. Huh, that's good enough in my book. Don't know if I ever told you this before, but my only regret's never being able to drink him under the table. I may be able to outdrink you, though. If you ever got a free night, how about you and me go for a beer? Sure, I love that, sir. Just remember, I said I was a social drinker. I didn't say anything about being a lightweight. Oh, that sounds like a challenge if I've ever heard one. That sounds awfully fun. We're in. We're in. We are? The more the merrier. I love a good gathering. 
Fancy running into you here, Father Wazi. And you brought a couple of friends in tow. Sister Scarlet. Oh, hey, Scarlet. If I remember correctly, she's... Indeed. As you can see, I've managed to sneak away from my duties long enough for a hot date with my boy toy here. We'll be patrolling the city, so I leave the rest of our work in your capable hands. Can you not say things that'll confuse her? Ah, uh, you're the squire who helped us in the operation, right? Thank you so much. We didn't have much time for introductions then, did we? Still, I've heard plenty about you. They weren't kidding about how cute you are. <laughs> uh, Scarlet? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Catch you later. Oh wow, that even made my heart skip a beat. I don't think I've ever met a sister with an eye patch before. It makes her look like she could hold her own in a fight. She's one of our newest squires, joined about the same time as Walda as it happens. She used to be with a terrorist organization in the Empire, even crossed paths with Force Old Class 7 if I recall. So she's got a great head on her shoulders. Talk about complete 180. Then again, I'm not sure what's harder. Working with terrorists or working under you? More like a complete 360 since she was... Before she became a terrorist, she was training to... I think she was trained to be part of Grawl's River in the first place. Uh, she seems to be enjoying her work quite a bit, I'll have you know. Now then, with my remaining work delegated, why don't we continue to the city? Roger that. Current story objective is always displayed. Okay, but I can also see all the NPCs I can talk to. About the notebook. Hmm. Gotta remember all these buttons now. My muscle memory is not what it used to be. I wonder if she'll be playable so we can use her whip sword, her Templar sword. There are a few things as shameless as flipping. But there are a few things as shameless as flipping my skirt. You're supposed to be saying an example as one of the oldest in class too. Oh, just which one of you is Tamil? Confess your misdeeds, and I may just forgive you in the name of the goddess. I'm Hamil. He's Tamil. Stop messing around, Tamil. I'm Hamil. He's Tamil. So you're going to keep fading in innocence, are you? Fine, that's how you're to be. Come here, Tamil. Save for your punishment. Huh? What? How do you know it was me? Hey, I knew you'd sniff out the culprit, Sister Juju. Maybe she was bluffing. Tamil and Hamil are complete opposites even though they're identical twins. But it's when they decide to act like each other uh, uh, that things get really hard. Most can't tell who's who at all. I can, though. It took me a while, but even being identical was enough to stop me from noticing some minute differences. You better watch out, Tamil. It's game over for you. Me and Tamil are twins. We always get people turning heads. They try to figure out who's who, but we look super identical. I guess our eyes are kind of different some. The only ones who can tell us apart are mom or dad and Kia for some reason. I always figured that Sister Juju would figure out one day, though. I can't believe it. Sister Juju knows how to tell us apart. I mean, I'm kind of happy about it, but alright, how am I supposed to mess with her now? The Sang Ceremony has brought in many a foreign worshipper today. While I'm pleased to see the cathedral is bustling, it does put a bit of strain on me as the one in charge of security. I'm sure a member of the girls who are being here isn't making your job any easier. You have my apologies. Nonsense. I know the Archbishop has his own feelings on the matter, but I welcome you wholeheartedly. I only ask that you keep vigilant as the Sang Ceremony approaches. But of course. Sister Reese was kind enough to write a letter to the cathedral recently. She apologized for being unable to make it to the signing ceremony, but congratulated Crossball on regaining its independence. How kind of her to reach out to us again. It was good hearing from her. Hello everyone, you seem to be working as hard as ever. I must say, Lloyd, you're looking more rugged since the last time I saw you. You're hardly the same boy I once knew. Uh, thanks, I guess. I'll take your word for it. Oh right, this sister is the one who taught you and Ellie when you were in Sunday school, isn't she? I'm a little envious how close you uh, still are even after all this time. Yeah, but it's a little embarrassing to still be doted on after so long. Anyway, how are you doing, Sister Marble? Has everything been well at the cathedral? Well, yes, things have been quite peaceful over here over the last month. Many of the children from the former downtown district have taken a liking to attending classes at the cathedral. Kia seems to be loving just how many new classmates she has. Yeah, she was telling us all about it earlier. I plan to have the kids listen in on the signing ceremony later during class. I wish I could be there to see it myself, but that's okay. I'm sure you and everyone else taking part will do a wonderful job. Thanks, Sister Marble. Just know we couldn't have made this far without people like you guiding us on our way. Going to Sunday school used to be nothing but a pain in the butt. 
It's not so bad anymore now that our neighborhood's been returned to the Uptown District. Guess that just goes to show how much times have changed. Me and my old man are doing pretty well for ourselves now. Vaughn's old- uh, Vaughn's dad used to be a real drunk. He'd drink any time, day or night. Vaughn said he started to change after he got drafted for a war, though. He stopped drinking and even got a job after that. Then he started insisting that Vaughn go back to Sunday school. He even took me in, in and cared for me like I was part of the family. He's kind of a strange guy, but not in a bad way. I'll soon be giving Sunday school lessons to the children in the newly renovated Uptown District. Many residents living there until recently were from the Imperial Army, meaning there were much fewer children in the district. Vaughn and Ruse were originally from there, but back when it was still known as the Downtown District. Back then, neither the students nor their parents would agree to come here for class, so I went to them and said, Things have changed since then, and now they're all attending su regular Sunday school, thankfully. It's a delightful change of pace. Am I seeing things or did I just see a sister wearing an eye patch walk by? I didn't want to be rude and stare, but my jaw uh, almost dropped. She looked like a real badass. We always make a point to visit the local churches whenever we go to on a trip. Part of it is just to pray to the gods for a safe travel, sure, but I also just, also just like the taking in the atmosphere of every different church. The cathedral will be holding a special mass in conjunction with the signing ceremony. I'm so excited that I decided to come here early, even though it won't be starting anytime soon. How nice of you all to visit. Here for a friendly chat? Something like that. We're a little curious. Wazzy well, Hemisphere, welcome back. I see you've left the event arrangements in the hands of your squires. I hope that doesn't mean you intend to neglect your duties while in Crosswell. Have a little more faith in me. The Congregation for the Sacraments tasked me with verifying the state of things now that the Great Twilight has passed. The details of that investigation are on a need-to-know basis, and well, you know the drill. Wazi, couldn't you have said that a little more courteously? Man, that sure is an attitude to take with the Archbishop of all people. I might not. I've accepted that there are some workings of the gods that only the Krells were meant to understand. Allowing you back to Crossbell was a decision based on a preventative action. However, that doesn't excuse those from the Congregation who would do inhumane things in the name of keeping secrecy. They even appear to open to accepting common street punks in their ranks. That last one felt pointed. Oof, you wouldn't me, Archbishop. So if anyone our remotely crew is a troublemaker, it's me. I did have a little oopsie a few weeks ago that well got in my case for. I can vouch for that. You're a real headache to look after. But I'm not worried ab uh, about today with Second Lieutenant Seeker babysitting you. You had better not cause her any trouble, am I understood? Uh -huh. I can't even imagine what it must be like to work under him. Abbas, Wald, Scarlet, each one of them are saints. Oh, there are enemies here. Stay right there! We've got a chance! Why? Look at this bullshit. They... Uh, look at how staggered all the turns are even though I, per, I ambushed them. Let's go! I'm just gonna use Toughness Shield right off the bat. Keep strong! As a safety Slide. measure. Oh good, they fainted. Cool. No problem. Zero craft. Wild stampede. All stats down. I'm going full throttle. I'm gonna steal the healing bonus too. Road Rage! Wait, that guy survived? Impossible. Do I have to analyze? No, I do not. So I have to actually use a battle scope on you if I want to get all my info. At this point, I'm not afraid of one drone. Come on, baby. Needle, shoot. Huh? Come get me, bro. Right. Oh, that guy does not move quickly. If that's the case, I'm just gonna use arts if you're just gonna sit down right there. Just activate! Shuh. I could have done that in my sleep. Hmm. They'll, they'll, at least drop at least one of every sep of type, so that's good. 
That way, if I need to, I can do some insane grinding just to keep up. And they drop used materials. You know, so I have a feeling I'm going to need to do extra grinding to compensate. Where do you like to go? West Street Entertainment District stay here. I have to choose? Weird. Didn't you used to live around here, Lloyd? Yeah, I live in Belheim Apartments. It's vacated now, but I know, still know plenty of people from the area. Like Oscar from the local bakery, the folks at Tally's. I'd say we know them just as well as you do at this point, given how much you used to, we used to, used to go on and on. Yeah, that's just how it goes when you join the SSS. Oh, stop, you guys. But hey, since we're here, how about we say our hellos? Quick travel is now available. Okay. I was so happy when my husband returned from a ward I wasn't jumping for joy, I was floating. Our daughter is doing well, our home is getting back its independence. This is what true happiness looks like. Momo used to be such a shy little girl, but she's really begun to come out of her shell. Makes me wonder if I have Ryu and Anri to thank for being such good friends. Part of me is a little concerned about what hijinks the junior SSS gets themselves into. But I can tell they're looking out for Momo, that's good enough for me. Independence special. I may need to get some of these. Where's petrification? The heck? Okay, the road to the signing ceremony. Today is one for history books, as it marks the signing ceremony that will reestablish Crossbell's independence once more. On this special occasion, the Crossbell Times invites our readers to join us in the looking back at the different periods in the region's history leading up to this historic moment. Crossbell the Autonomous State, as a vital training hub dating back centuries, one located between the Zimurian continent's two great powers, Crossbell has found itself wrapped up in multiple conflicts as its ruling authority at traded places on numerous occasions. This power changed in 1144, when both the Erebonian Empire and the Republic of Calvert became suzerain nations over Crossbell while granting it individual autonomy as a state. For a long period afterwards, the conflicts that plagued previous era, era subsisted between the two countries. This is not to say things were perfect, however, or underneath the service, international feuding continued, placing Crossbell in a difficult position as it came under strain from various directions. After the Orbal Revolution took place, Mainz became a significant producer of Septium, leading to the rapid spread of orbital technology within Crossbell. These factors, combined with state's geographic advantages, transformed it into one of the continent's biggest trading and financial hubs nearly overnight. Despite the many problems that the region endured in the interim, it was a time of significant progress for the people in its own right. Indeed, many would argue the spirit of freedom that famously characterizes many Crossbell citizens dates back to this very period. Independence In August 2004, Crossbell's mayor at the time, Dieter Kreuz, proposed independence for the autonomous state at the West Zamoria Trade Conference. Then, in October of the same year, vehemently pushing aside opposition from both Erbonian and Cover alike, the mayor formally declared Crossbell to be an independent nation of him staying at the helm as president. This uh, development profoundly rocked the Zamorian continent, triggering a civil war within Erbonia and an economic crisis in Calvert. Following that, in December, Speaker Henry McDowell announced that the independence bid was rendered null and void. Several days afterwards, President Kreutz was arrested, bringing an abrupt end to Crossbell's brief time as an independent nation. Imperial Annexation On January 1205, the Erbonian Empire, having closed internal strife, dispatched his army to successfully occupy Crossbell within the span of a single day. Furthermore, according to the terms of the treaty signed with the Empire, Crossbell lost his autonomy and subsequently became an imperial province. This in turn led the Republic of Calvert to invade Crossbell, unleashing a fresh flood of violence. Ultimately, the Empire's Petrus Solat units, in tandem with the actions of a provisional military officer sent by the government, impeded the Republic's advance, compelling it to, to retreat. In March of that same year, Rufus Alberea, assuming the role of Crossbell's first governor general, announced its merger into imperial territory, formalizing the province's annexation outright. From there, under the auspices of the Governor General, Crossbell is incorporated into the Eight Metropolis Plan, strengthening its political and economic ties to the Empire. In turn, all diplomatic relations with the Republic were severed, sharing the sense of cultural diversity that had long characterized the region and a sign of the long social political winter to come. Aftermath of the Great War Great War between the Erebonian Empire and the Republic of Calvert, which saw the involvement of neighboring nations, concluded on its second day in S S September 1206. This led the Empire to pull out of Crossbell which sat on the front lines of the conflict. Negotiations commenced between Imper the Imperial Government and Speaker McDowell pertaining to the province's independence. Progress hit a road bump when October 
remnants of the Imperial Defense Force, refusing to heed the Empire's withdrawal, as well as the now former Governor General Al uh, Alvarez calls to stand down, took full control of Crosswell City, an event that came as an immense shock to the citizens when Crosswell was on the verge of regaining its independence. With danger of Calvardian military intervention looming, an operation to liberate Crosswell commenced in February of the following year. Helmed by the Special Support Section and aided by the Crossbell Police, the Guardian Force, and civilian volunteers, the operation swiftly proved to be a success. The SSS overpowered the Imperial Defense Force troops holed up in Orcus Tower in the dramatic end to the two-year-long saga of Imperial occupation. Crosswell's current standing. Now on March 15, 1207, Crosswell is about to embark on a new chapter in its long proud history. At a signing ceremony scheduled for 2 p.m. this afternoon, Crosswell wants to more become an autonomous state. Unlike the previous incarnation, however, Crosswell will be beholden to neither the Empire nor the Republic. Instead, the Holy City of Arteria will serve as a suzerain nation over it, while guaranteeing the state's right to complete autonomy. In practice, Crosswell is to be administered free of any political interference from both the Empire and the Republic, serving as a buffer zone between them. The regiment is expected to help achieve peace in Western Zemuria, as well as hugely contribute to future cultural and economic advancements in the greater region. Arts beyond the countless nights officially opening tonight, after last year's public rehearsal and February's special performance, Oregon Seal's hot new production, Beyond the Countless Nights, is set to officially open this evening in commemoration of Crosswell's renewed independence. Tickets sold out within minutes of becoming available, as members of the public are eager to watch its trio of leading dancers perform live. A source of the troupe also say that there is a special program headed up by Ilya Platir is slated to debut in the coming days. Economy, IVC building repurposed again. After serving for a time as a branch of the Reinford Group, the company announced its intention to reduce its presence within the IBC headquarter building in light of Crosswell's re-independence. It previously occupied the bulk of the structures floors faced during the Imperial annexation of Crosswell. Hmm. Upholding its international reputation of attracting the world's cutting-edge businesses, the building located in the northern part of Harbor District will see its newly vacant floors occupied by the Calvert-based Vernet Company. Vernet had previously pulled out of Crosswell. The ZCF, whose uh, international collaborations have expanded in recent years. We'll also set up shop. Renovations to the building are uh, currently underway in preparation for a full reopening next month. Hot new properties up for sale. The units inside a recently finished apartment complex building in the new city block are on sale now at bargain prices, located near a Trinity Billiard Bar that opened last month. Move in today for a life of refined relaxation. Is it just me, or does the city feel extra happy today? It's not just you. The positivity in the air is almost overwhelming. Well, can't blame everyone. We've been waiting for this day for a long time. It's amazing just how d drastically Mrs. Nobash has changed her tune. She used to be so nasty, but now she's a whole new woman. Actually, I just had enough about her, of her and her was on the verge of finally giving her a real piece of my mind. Not worry, I'll be holding my tongue now. My wife managed to talk me off the ledge before I came to that. Oh, so we'll be moving out next week. That truly really is a shame. We had only just finally bonded over our love for Orkin Seal, but we're already leaving. I know we haven't always been the best of neighbors, other than friends. But leaving after growing so much closer does, truly does break my heart. Please give my warmest regards to Levick as well. I should be apologizing for him, if anything, but it's all water on the bridge now. Just promise me that you'll treat us at a night at the Heimdall Opera House when we come to visit. But of course, we'll be more than happy to treat the two of you. Though given everything that's happened, I can't guarantee there'll be VIP seats. I hope that's alright. But don't be silly, we don't need the best seats in the house to have a lovely time. My daddy isn't the manager of the Times department store anymore. He said things might be a little harder for us when we move back to Erebonia than it has been Crossbell. But honestly, it doesn't really bother me. February 14, 1207 will be a day celebrated throughout history, the day Ilya made her son return to the stage. It was the first time the sun, moon, and star princesses came together to perform the dream of a million nights. I had never been to Soma in my entire life. It was like a dream come to true seeing them reunite and perform together. And now on March 15, Crosswell is going to finally celebrate a rightful, legitimate Independence Day. It feels like watching one of Arkansas Seal's dramas come to life. I feel so blessed to see two historic moments back to back. Hmm. This is Ilya's apartment. She and Sully are back to being roommates now that she's completed her physical therapy. Imagine paying rent and not even getting to sleep in your own bed for over two years. Must feel have felt good for her to come home. I'll bet, I still get a little emotional thinking about how hard she worked to return. No, and she's right back to rehearsing like a madwoman. I hope she can take some time for herself every now and then. Hey, it's been quite nice sitting out here on the branch and drawing some fresh baked bread from Morgays. I still can't believe we'll be independent soon after the day. I've given up on seeing it happen in my lifetime. Surely I'm as happy as can be. Oh, it's SSS. And you guys look super busy. I hope you guys are doing okay. Uh, why, thank you. How goes SSS's activities? Discussing your next move, perhaps? Oh man, you're sharp. 
It's not like we're a big security or nothing like that just because we're kids. But at the same time, we might notice stuff regular security might not because we're kids. Oh, but I believe it. One of the reasons we were able to find Mei Ling with Reen's help after she was spirited away was because of you guys. Very impressive. Well, we don't just play around, you know. Anyway, we won't cause problems for a CPD or CGF, so don't worry. We're just going to do our very best. Huh, roger that. I'm about to leave for my shift at the clinic in Armorica. My wife, Flora, started working there recently, too. Things are done in shifts over there, but it's still not uncommon for a commute to overlap. It's been a nice change of pace for us to share patients, to be honest. I guess it's done wonders for marriage. Our communication is better than ever w was when we worked at the hospital. How many levels are there in this place? Huh. Down there is the first floor. Man, that brings back memories. Oh, that's right. You grew up in these apartments, didn't you? And the new ace family lived right next door to you and your brother. We can always head downstairs and say hello if you want. No, that's okay. We have plenty of our place before the ceremony. I can visit them once things have settled down and I'm off duty. Maybe they didn't render that part of the floor. What? My, if isn't Lloyd. Doing the rounds before the signing ceremony, huh? Keep it a good work. You know how it is. We're in a neighborhood, so I thought we should drop by and say hi. I can't say enough about how much Yuna helped us when we last saw her. We're really grateful. Yeah, she played a huge part in the mission. She really knows her way around a soul lot. I'm happy to hear so much praise for her, but I do still worry about her as a her father. I'm so proud of how much she's grown while studying in Arabonia. She really has. We're proud of her too. So, are you not working at Michelin today, M Matthew? Actually, I'll be in charge of a little event we're running in the Harbor District later. There's still some time before I need to be on site, so I came home to enjoy a cup of coffee. Well, that sounds nice. I guess you'll need it for how busy you'll be later as well. Sorry if we interrupted your time alone time. On that note, I think we should be going. Have a wonderful day, you two. Thank you as well. Thank you. You as well. Stay safe out there. Hey, it's the SSS. Hi, everyone. You two look as energetic as ever. Yep, today's the exciting ceremony. It's gonna be so hype. We're gonna celebrate a whole lot and then eat a bunch of tasty food. Then tonight we get to go see Ark and Seal. I can't wait to rub in Yuna's face the next time she comes home. I'm sure she's gonna be really jealous. A Ben Law Office. If I remember correctly, this is... It is. It's where old acquaintance opened his law firm before being arrested. After that, the place was vacant for a while. The Crestable Times apparently occupied this space in the just recently. I had no idea. The former office of Grizzly Grimm, aka the lawyer Ian Grimwood. All things considered, he was still a big help to us two years ago. After that, but after that, Crestable soon became an Erebonian territory and we fell out of touch. All the more reason why you should go visit him soon. Is that Pete? Pete! I recall, Grimwood took Pete in and acted as his guardian, right? Yeah, and Pete's been working part-time at the news agency lately. Long time no see, members of the SSS. What brings you here today? We just happened to be passing by, so we decided to drop in. So the news agency has all moved over. Yep, I was just doing the final checks before vacating the premises, actually. You know, as soon as we got, uh, got rid of the editor desk, things got real lonely around here. It reminds me of how things were after the Independence Incident. Oh. I can imagine. I'm sure it felt like your world was turned upside down when you arrested Mr. Grimwood. Oh no, please don't worry, I didn't mean it like that. But after everything transpired, I also resented him. But as time went on, I found myself able to face him and even started visiting him in prison. All because you guys managed to step in and save him from himself. I see. You're a tough kid, Pete. So you've been checking in on him over these past two years. Yeah, in between working for the news agency. I missed a few visits because he had penal labor, but we kept in touch. Between you and me, he was terribly worried when you were all when you all were working underground against the Empire. Huh. I haven't been able to visit him since last year's occupation. Once today's cer saying ceremony is over, I plan on stopping by. I'm certain that he's truly happy about Crosswell's independence this time. I'll be glad if he was. Can you give him my regards? And tell him we'll be dropping in eventually too. But of course. To be honest, I'm a little reluctant to vacate this place. But ultimately, I'll always have my memories of the time I spent here with Mr. Grimwood. I haven't given up on my dream of becoming a lawyer. I can't keep looking back. It's about time for me to move forward. Alright, first I need to study hard so I can get into the school where I can learn about law. We're rooting for you, Pete. Huh. What a weird trio you guys make. Hi, Randy. Hi, Murray. Doing well? I'd say they are. Are we interrupting your date? Date! 
that's not what we're doing. I was asking for his input on today's security measures as a valued former member of the Guardian Force. <laughs> Come on, be honest. Just say you're happy you get to spend time with me now that I've wrapped up my work in the Empire. No! Stop making things up! Ooh, so it just appears to getting a little steamy over here. Knock it up, Wazzy. She can't have both of you messing with her. Ah, it's like he never left. I'm sure I'll be sorely missing the branch campus, Randy. Oh. The operation was your way of coming back home, right? Yeah. To be honest, there's a part of me that would have liked to keep on a little longer as an instructor, but that's life. Randy. All that means is that you found another place to hold dear. That's a great thing. It wasn't uh, without its struggles, but I gained so much by being there. Walking in, I never thought it'd become as important to me as it is. Something about seeing just how much kids can grow in a year because of you as well. It's nice to feel like I did right by them. You absolutely did. This almost makes me wish I could have seen you in action. I'll bet you made an amazing instructor. Well, he did always have a knack for showing Urs the ropes of the Guardian Force. He might look like he doesn't care, but he does have a stellar job of caring for Urs and supporting them in all kinds of subtle ways. If it wasn't there for me when I was under that sorry excuse of the commander, I don't know what I... Wait! Ah, too late. Secret's out now, I'm afraid. Oh, wow, I didn't know you thought about me that much. That's because I don't. I was providing an objective perspective, that's all. Is it just me or has she gotten worse at hiding her feelings? It could be because he was always uh, he was away for so long. It's not just her, though. Anyway, let's all keep the good work on the job today so the signing ceremony will be a success. Do the force proud today, second lieutenant. Y uh, yes, ma'am. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to, uh, uh, something in all the hustle and bustle. Reen Uni wanted me to pass along a couple of messages. Congratulations on Crossbell's re-independence. Once things have calmed down a bit, I'd love to be able to visit. Can't wait. I wish I could be there for the signing ceremony, but good luck with security. Next time I'm home, I'll be sure to drop by the SSS HQ with some souvenirs. That's nice of them. Now we've got something to look forward to. I'm sure there's been no shortage of work to be done for everyone in force. That's another statement. They've been flying all over the Empire to get help get back on its feet. Uni went back ahead of me once the operation was over. Someone came up with one of her missions not long after, so she wanted to prioritize that. You know, was something of a necessary hopeful, wasn't she? Yeah, she's debated coming back to Crosswell for good after the operation. Ultimately, though, she wants to stay at Force till she graduates. She's always been the type to see things through, so I'm not surprised. I was worried when she first went to the Empire, but it all worked out in the end. You two are pretty good friends, weren't you? Makes sense when when they're so alike. You're both so earnest and sincere that I could never get bored of riling you up. Oh, hush. But yeah, I was the one teaching her how to use her gunbreakers when she was at the police academy. That means you could use them too? We got a talking then. It turned out we had a lot in common. Love for cute animals, biking, and even the SSS. Makes me happy knowing she's found her own path in life. Same here. Hopefully she and Reen will be able to come by soon. With how hard they work, they'll get it done in no time. That means we can't afford to slack on sprucing up Crosswell, though. Gotta make it nice and pretty for them. Happy Independence Day. We've got a lot to celebrate. Plus, it seems like things are heating up between Bennett and Oscar. I noticed her doing, uh, her really doing on him lately. If things go well between the two of them, the future of this bakery is all but assured. I couldn't be happier. My best friend Shiruru told me not long ago that uh, now was the time for her to travel across the Arbonia and took off for Nordia province. Pre but previously, she also tried crossing the main mountains and gave up. After giving another go recently, she had better luck. That motivated her to set her sights on scaling even rougher mountains, which is what brings her to Nordia now. At this point, I argue she's not just a seasoned traveler, she's a full-on mountaineer. Oh, hi everyone. Well, it isn't Lloyd and his pals. Good timing. We just finished making some limited edition bread to celebrate Crosswell's independence. Here, try some. Independence roll times three. Wow, that smells great. Thanks, Oscar. Are they decorated with cookies shaped like Crosswell's crest? They're so cute. Don't mind if we do. Hey, Oscar, don't you think you've been pushing yourself a lot lately? I'm happy the bread is selling well, but you've been baking nonstop for days. You can end up re-aggravating your injuries at this pace. Injuries? Lighten up, Bennett. You worry, worry too much. Does the injury you suffered during the war still bother you, Oscar? That's right, he got drafted, didn't he? I thought he made a full recovery. Don't worry, man. My wounds healed up and the doctor cleared me to come back to work. I think Bennett's looking out for me. Don't try to play this off. When you were first injured, they said you might never bake again. Just because you healed enough to be discharged and you come back to work, it doesn't mean you can be careless. I'm limiting you to only three hours of needing a day, and you can only man the counter two hours at a time. Wow, she must really care about him. Don't you just adore when young love continues to blossom over the years? That's not it at all. How the more things change, the more they say the same. Oops, I don't think I can take this way to the SSS building. I left the back entrance locked. We'll have to unlock it from the inside if we want to use it then. So 
Central Square. All the banners around town have Crossbell's emblem again. Yeah, makes it feel like we're back to normal. Mm, even I'm compelled to shed a tear seeing this. It was nice to go into Erebonia without needing a passport, but I'll take our independence over that any day. We're cross balance, you know, now and forever. I feel like I haven't seen as many Erebonians here this past month. Or, well, I guess we're not independent yet, so that makes us all Erebonians. Sip. I know I tend to be on the harsh side, but not today. My britches are itching of joy. March 15th will be certainly go down here as a special, special day indeed. Being able to experience it with my cup in hand is what true happiness looks like. Not so long ago, Hoistorf hired me on the, as a sous chef. No, I'm so excited, man. The era of Chef Celtia has arrived. But I gotta make sure I don't go too crazy old to demote me. But I can help it. I can't help it. Yeah, haha. We miners got a day off on account of the exciting ceremony. So I came here from Mainz with one of our newbies, Luganov. That kid went off to meet some pals over on East Street. And as for me, straight to the casino after I get me a bite to eat. I'm feeling lucky today. Gahaha. I'm very glad my protégés are working towards their own goals. Every now and then, Celtio leaves me a bit concerned. But he seems to recognize this well, so I don't have a problem watching him try to work for them. Good to see you, Lloyd. My visit, Noah and Wazi. We're going out to eat a whole bunch because today's a super happy day. And Papa gets to do his work again. Really? That's great news. Yes, yeah, so it's a little embarrassing to make such a big deal out of it. Starting my business again has been a challenge, but it all came together thanks to the renewed international interest in Crossfell. Don't be so modest. Today's the day to celebrate. But more importantly, we must thank Adios that you came home to us safely. Yes, I suppose you're right. I have a question. You guys are friends of Ren, right? We got, we, we got to have lunch with her the other day. She told us all about her family. It was so much fun. You don't say. I, I'll bet it was. Uh-huh, she said next time we can all have lunch with her family. I can't wait. That's strange. I know I saw Joshua in work, time for work, but I haven't seen Ren around. Hope we can catch up with her soon. Celtio and I were interviewed here the very day the war broke out. And well, here we are. I was officially hired as a, a, a chef's patissier, and he's now a sous chef. We don't have a whole lot of people on staff, so I'll be working as a waitress for a while too. But that's okay with me, by me. I just never thought I'd be able to go down this path. I'm so happy. My word, this is using ingredients even I'm not all too familiar with. What a revolutionary dish this is. I've heard this particular dish was devised by two youngsters who will be taking over one day. I was quite pleased with how delicious it was. Hey friends, Kate, how's it going? Hey Lloyd, good to see you. Are you on patrol with Noel and Wazi? Talk about the throwback to the old SSS days. Yeah, I guess so. I'm used to thinking this is a chance to unwind. It's still kind of hard to process all that's happened in the last month. Easy for you to say, I've been keeping busy. But I guess the signing ceremony will be as good a chance as any to relax in a way. Today feels like the first normal one in a long time, really. We're finally back to business as usual. I know what you mean. Even the Metropol Metropolitan Division feels that way. So let me offer you guys a congratulations. Here's a fr fresh start to the SSS. None of us would be here if it wasn't for everything you all did. I feel the same, it's good to have you back. I know having to operate underground for so long must have been hard, but now you get to see a day you fought so hard for. Thanks, you two, that means a lot. It does, but I'm starting to blush a little. Me too, I may not have been in the city the last couple of years, but I never stopped considering myself a member of the SSS. Hey guys, everyone keeps saying all the cool things you've been doing. You're always so cool. Thanks, me, and you too, Copay. Some things never changed. For that, what, what would we ever do if we didn't have you cheer us on anymore? Right? I don't think even the best cabaret would be half a, as good a way to make me smile as seeing you. Cabaret? Are those some kind of funny braids? Hey, sure, why not? I guess that's not a word kids hear every day. Look at that, the sky's beautiful. Perfect word for the signing ceremony. It's been a while since I've been able to kick back and relax on a patrol. Or you didn't hear that. An officer of the law must always be mindful of their citizens and be prepared for anything. Well said, let's give it our all today. I can't wait to see the signing ceremony. I couldn't have picked a better time to make it take my vacation to Crossbell. I know it's not technically a festival, but it sure feels like one with how pumped up everyone is. It's something me up too. I never ended up drafted in, in the last war, so I can't say I contributed much. Even if all I did was see a heaven from the sidelines, so I'm glad Crossbell pulled through. We didn't lose as many lives as we could have. Then again, losing even a single life is one too many. Ever since we came in Erebonian province, it's like I've been in a funk. I could barely stand and go outside. T t today, though, may as well be the most beautiful day I've ever seen. Crossbell spun true independence at last. At last. Never thought I'd have in a while I was still alive to see it. Uh, life isn't so bad after all, huh? 
They don't get much better today, do they? Crossbones must have hearts of helium because their spirits are lighter than even my balloons. Take care not to get blown off of the wind now. Rufus's sentence is way too messed up. His sentence should be lighter. What's the thing where you get people to sign the whole thing because you want a different thing to happen? A petition? You think people would go for it? I would totally would, duh, but I don't know about other people. I'm originally from Erebonia, but he's sticking around here for work. Crossball going independent means I'll have to get a work visa. That's gonna be a pain. And the price hike on all the Imperial products is kind of stink too. The Empire essentially lost its position of power with the war. It's the defeated Donald Trident shell of what it once was. When it comes to foodstuffs, Legion's king of the region. Imperial imports are on the expensive side right now, but on the flip side, Republican products is officially cheaper than ever. That means now is the perfect time to try out some new dishes and ingredients. Babu? Oh, she may have Scott's eyes, but she definitely got your smile, Pearl. Right, I knew you'd be able to tell. Her personality is more like mine too. A little wild thing, you know? Uh, if she's got that much energy as a baby, maybe she can take on the bracer life with her dad. Oh yeah, I can see all right. Pearl here is a wonderful young lady who worked under me as a receptionist. Well, I'm so happy I got to see her and her newborn. With the crossbows and the pens on the horizon, Imperial businesses like Clayson Co. have relinquished most of their stock in the store. That means the ownership of the store is being reverted to its previous owner, a crossbow and company. We're in the middle of transitioning everything over, and I'll be leaving the city by next week. Makes me feel a little lonely. Good to see you. I'm Nesson. I've been brought back here to serve as manager of this fine establishment. Though it's been downsized, one of our Imperial investors is still considered a major shareholder. Going forward, I hope to study their business uh, practices while maintaining a friendly relationship with them. I'm actually from Calvary, so I thought becoming an Erebonian citizen had me on edge, but I'm good at being Crespellan. Janetta and I got married after a war, and things have suddenly started to settle down around here. Once Crossbell achieves its independence again, I plan on putting in the paperwork to become a proper citizen. Moonless Morn? Man, I've never been so proud of being a Crespellan. It means I get to have a blast shopping here. Pearl's baby is just too cute for words. Yeah, I can't wait to start popping out a few of our own. Well, but not right away. We only just got married. We still need our honeymoon. So I want to enjoy us first. Oh, sorry, sorry about that. I'm just so happy. I just want to share with the world. It's fine, really. I would be in that blissful stage of being nearly married. You can just feel happiness raining off of her. Strega has officially opened its stores again now that everything has sold down. We've got lace spring lines and the crossbow exclusives and a ton of other nice goods in stock. Feel free to take a look around, and if someone catches your fancy, also feel free to spend that mirror. Hmm. Wing Strega seems like the best option, huh? Today's the day, the day we achieve real independence. It's a dream come true, really. I I'll bet my bottom mirror that my late husband is smiling with the goddess at the good news. Even the church is supporting Crossbow's independence. Each and every citizen has dreamed of this day for as long as I can recall, and now it's coming true in the best of ways. It's been many years since I came here from the Empire. I've seen it all at this point. I wish I could say to everyone how fought to make this real, how proud I am of them. So really that my husband came back from the war okay. I never wanted to go through something like that again. Peace is always the best. I was finally able to start restocking Calvardian brand starting last month. We've already gotten rave reviews. At the end of the day, fashion knows no border. The good stuff's good and the bad stuff's bad, you know? Go ahead and browse our original products as well as our selects from all across the continent. Thankfully, all my workers in the back of the store who were drafted during the war made it back in one piece. Not only that, but we're finally able to sell company products under their proper name again, too. No more off brand labels. Of course, I know I shouldn't get too excited. The war may have been short, but people did lose their lives. But just as always, that hasn't stopped us from overcoming adversity so that we could one day regain, one day regain our independence with dignity. Which is why today is worth celebrating. I want to show our appreciation to our customers with the, this big sale, even if it puts us in the red. So happy that the embargo on Vernet Company products have been, has been lifted and I can find them much more easily again. The customer can never have too many choices after all. Competition is good for all of us. Plus, it makes shopping more fun when you have that many more brands to check out. This place really lives up to hype. They have products from all the big international manufacturers. Arbonia, Calvert, Liberal. They even have stuff from Rambiferia and Le Mans. I'm in normal heaven. I did receive a meager salary from the Imperial Army after I was dressed with last year. It wasn't much, but it made for some decent pocket change for a student like me. Too bad I, don't, I didn't have enough left over to afford that Orville camera on sale. Bummer. I guess I'll have to pick up a part-time job again so I'll have enough to buy it. Hey, welcome to Genten. Today we're having a blast sale to celebrate the signing ceremony. Now's your chance to get anything you've had your eye on that rock on prices. Sales like this don't come around every day. You're not going to want to miss out. Oh, there you are. 
The sign ceremony is just around the corner. You three must have uh, had a spring or step as you patrol the city today, huh? I guess you could say that. You sound like you're in high spirits yourself, Wendy. So it looks like you have a lot of customers coming today. That's great. That's because we're putting on a big sale to celebrate the occasion. Plus, this is the time of year when everyone is looking for a fresh start. Suffice to say, our sales today are through the roof. Not money is everything, of course. It's just nice to have so see so many happy, smiling customers, too. That's great. Sounds like business is really booming. I take it that means something strange or unusual has happened around here. Not that I'm aware of. Everything has been the same old, same old. Guess that means you guys can't exactly take it easy and let your guards down just because the rest of us are celebrating. I get it. In that case, why don't we not give your ornaments a tune-up while you're here? Not like you'll have time later, right? You've got a good point. We may as well while we're here. That's the spirit, and let's see how we can help you today. Some besides new courts, strengthening existing courts and weapons. Hmm. But everything costs too much. There's no way to really grind. Other than fighting those really strong enemies outside. Oh, and while I have you all here, there's something I should tell you about the Arcus 2. The Rainford Group recently put out a new version. Really? Anything special about it? A lot from what I can tell you. You guys should try upgrading your slots for now. You'll be able to s s equip stronger cores than you used before once you just get a slot up to level 3. Give me a second. I know we've got some test samples lying around here somewhere. Here they are. Use the Sephiroth to upgrade a slot and destroy the cores. It's on the house. Analyze you are an all elemental Sephiroth. You really do spoil us, you know that? Thanks, Wendy. We'll give it a whirl. Now upgrade slots to the workshop. You can use Sephiroth to upgrade slots in your party's ornaments. By upgrading slots, you'll be able to equip ultra rares. Well, I guess right now we can only equip rare. The first slot is from the Orbit Center, the higher the max EP increases. No mention it, that's what friends are for. But it probably costs more too. Anyway, I'll let you all uh, back to, uh, get back to it. Today's is busy uh, busy for us both. So there's, uh, here's a smooth independence day, am I right? If you need me to tinker with your ornaments again, you know where to find me. Repairs, upgrades, you name it. I'll handle it. Well, we'll let you know if we need anything. Thanks again, Wendy. What, what he said, but I'd be fine with not having to touch my ornament much today. Initially, you can select exchange to trade Sephiroth masses you obtain throughout the game for Mira. You can trade elemental Sephiroth at the workshop, but it can be used to create quartz and open slots, so do so wisely. Sephiroth masses are only good for trading for Mira, so make sure to do this whenever you're trying Mira. Oh wow, they're selling a limited edition color to commemorate the signing ceremony. I've gotta get one, I don't wanna miss out. Well, look who it is. On a victory lap or something? There must be a lot of weight off your shoulders today. I can't deny it, though we haven't forgotten all the people who helped us get to this point. You include Grande. Thanks for everything. What well, he said, the resistance always do a lot for supplying us with weapons. And you that on the side while keeping this place open in broad daylight. Color me impressed. Hey, a man's gotta eat. Not that I like doing business with complete amateurs or anyone else I haven't taken a liking to. Anyway, can you see I'm reading here? Trying to stop by too often, got it? Hey, we'll try. Oh wow, it's looking real spiffy now. SSS Special Section H Support Section HQ. Where's my heart seeing this place again? When did the sign get put back up though? After we repossessed the building from the Imperial Army. Everyone in the city pulled together to help us return it back to the way it was before. I had no idea. You're also loved. Hard to believe they used to call you the Bargain Bin Bracers. All that means is, is, to me is we worked hard enough to win them over, and you guys were a big part of making that happen. Looking up at this building makes it all feel real. We're really home. Can't blame you with how nice and cozy it is. It's like our second home. Exactly. And since we're here, why not drop by and sell you hello? The chief should be in, so yeah, why not? Boyd, hitting the pavement with Noel and Wazi, huh? How goes the patrol? So far, so good, chief. And hello, Commander? I didn't realize you'd be here when we stopped by. <laughs> well, surprise. I had some business to attend to here. You're assisting the SSS, then? Security detail has mostly been handled, so I don't suppose that's a problem. <laughs> Is it just me, though, or are you more gung-ho with their business than with the CGFs? So how it seems? I never really thought about it before. Well, if you'd like, I could arrange to have you temporarily transferred to SSS again. I really mean it? Wait, hold on. Sure, SSS is special to me, but I'm fully committed to the CGF. You know that, Commander. Of course I do. I was only teasing. Trying to bully the youngsters too much. I say you're a naughty one here, Chief. Having a secret little rendezvous with the Commander while ki the kids are away, hmm? I mean, I know you two divorced two years ago, but some flames are too hard to extinguish, aren't they? Knock it off, Wazzy. We shouldn't be prying into their private lives. Yeah, it's none of our business, so I have been dying to know. Sorry to disappoint you, but I'm here for business, not pleasure. 
We we're just discussing some of the details surrounding the signing of uh, the signing ceremony's security. You've got enough on your plate. You didn't have to come all the way here, you know. Is that consideration I hear, or are you simply buried interrupting your quiet time? Would you rather be smoking the day away? Having faith in your subordinates is all well and good, but every great leader knows there, there are times when you must lead by example. I'll listen here, lady. I don't call me lady. You're not getting any younger, Sergey. Isn't it about time you finally quit that smoking habit of yours? It'll only... I get already. Damn. Stop busting my balls, Sonya. That was awesome. Sorry, Chief, but she has got you whipped. By the way, has a runaway member shown up at all? Nope, pray not. I'd hope he would by now. I, I'd have called you and Teal back here in an instant. That's a shame. It's been too long. You could at least make it back for the signing ceremony. What are you talking about? Wait. Is this about Zite? Yeah, I showed up to help during the operation last month, but disappeared again as soon as it ended. Tio and Kia must really miss him. I wish we had any idea where he went. Well, he's still a holy beast at the end of the day. It's only natural he wouldn't want to get his paws dirty in mankind's business. Maybe seeing it to Crossbell was liber uh, 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 seeing to it that Crossbell was liberated was his final mission. Not that it's any of my business is what he does. I don't think the A Lady upstairs has any rules regarding where he has to be a stranger. I would hope not. Zay is still a registered police dog. He belongs with the SSS. I'm sure we'll see him again someday. Yeah, me too. Well, if he does show up, show his mug around here, I'll give you a call. Don't let bar you too much, though. There's still plenty of work to do around the ceremony and all. Given the circumstances, the police were put in charge of security for today. The CGF will have units stationed throughout the city to provide support, but you would be wise to keep your guards up. Roger that. We will. There's nothing our two departments can't do when we work together. Can I rest in these rooms? Strolling through here makes me feel like I'm back on the job with you. It feels like it was just yesterday, huh? I bet the rooms haven't even changed. Both your rooms are still the way you left them. Why not check them out and see? Oh, I can rest. Okay, free resting. Yes, please. This will hopefully make it possible to actually grind out Abyss mode. It even restores CP, so I just rest her twice and I get all the CP I need for free. Alright, now we can exit toward West Street again. Alright, so I'm, yeah, I'm using Lloyd's room in order to grind these guys up a lot. Hopefully it works out. Sapphire seal of mine shining from the abyss. Oh, I should wait for that crit bonus, damn it. But free should be enough to win. Crush! Akashic Arm! I'm going full throttle! I already saw yours. It ends here! There's no stopping us. Yup, doing this to earn Sepith very slowly. And you materials, of course. Station Street. With the post-war cleanup making progress, the Transcontinental Railroad's come alive again. And now that Crossbell's regaining its independence, you can bet it's going to play a part in its expansion. Oh, and get this, a special train with a plate commemorating Crossbell's independence is going to be running by today. I actually got a brand new orbital camera especially for the occasion. Heh <laughs> heh. As a train super fan, it's my secret duty to take the best photo po humanly possible. Nice to see the Transcontinental Railroads open back up. With all eyes across the continent on us, security's on high alert for the ceremony. Yep. Nothing will get past us. So no, be no exaggeration to say that people of Western Zemuria are focused entirely on Crosswell today. I'm truly happy I get to be present for such a momentous occasion. We finally arrived in Crosswell. I'll never get over how metropolitan the place is. It's so fascinating. Good work out there, Lloyd. You're one of the newbies assigned to the Metropolitan Division, right? Yes, I've been assigned to Francis' old position, Crossbell Station Security. I plan on protecting and serving to the best of my abilities from here on out. Glad to see someone with your enthusiasm on the force. Let's both give everything we have to keep Crosswell safe. With pleasure. Hey, CSSS, you guys are the talk of the city, you know? Talk about l luck I'd run to the you right after I got here. After I get here. You look familiar, weren't you? Rex from the Imperial Chronicle. 
The pose he took from the front lines of the Battle of Jormungandr made the front page. He's qu got quite the career ahead of him. Come on, you're gonna make me blush. Rex is in time to cover a signing ceremony for the Imperial Chronicle. Even the Erebonians are interested in how it'll go. Which is why we can't let them outshine the Crossbow Times coverage, Grace. Well, about that, Reigns. There's something else I need to take care of, so you will be covering the signing ceremony. What? Really? What could be more important than the signing ceremony, Grace? Yeah, it's not like you would miss out on a big scoop like this. You're not feeling under the weather, are you? About food poisoning? No, nothing like that. I promise it's also for work. I got a lead on something that's been barring me, so I plan to follow up on it. And besides, we've gone over how to cover the ceremony a bunch of times, so I'm sure it'll do a fine without me. It's not that I don't think I can handle it, but this is so sun. Man, it's tough to beat drive like that. I need to get my butt in gear, or Grace is going to leave me in the, her dust. I never understood journalistic rivalries, but it sounds like Grace is as, as ambitious as, as, as ever. I'll say, she really takes her job seriously. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Reverie. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.